Hello, Josh, Sam, and anyone else who's watching, and welcome back to uh, Swin Don't You Forget About Me. Um, yeah, so I've played a few games. It was fun. I had a little bit of time to actually play the game on my own, and uh, we had three games, and we won all three of them compared to the ones that we recorded. But anyway, we uh, we played Wolves in the fourth round of the Cup. Uh, we won 3-1, an absolute screamer from Brun Filoff, uh, and goals from Wilmot and Beckin, um got us the win. I think we were 1-0 down in that game, so that was nice. Uh, we then battered Bradford City 2 to the nils, and then we beat Norwich 3-0 um, in fairly comfortable circumstances, although I think actually it wasn't that comfortable. I think there's a quite three quite late goals. Oh no, it, I think it must have been the Bradford game then was with two late-ish goals, yeah, from Alberto. Um, anyway, what that means is we are now entering the knockout stages of the European Europa League. Um, but first we have to play West Brom. So we're going to play Montpellier uh, SC. Uh, I don't know if we can see the table in France. We can. They are in seventh. So that's pretty good. They're not very good then, that means, basically. Uh, so we should be hoping to win that game, although we're not very experienced in Europe. I have also absolutely 100% guaranteed registered a goalkeeper. <laughs> so worry not but before I move on I have made a couple of signings um, so we got rid of uh, Barisic as I told you to West Brom for 7 million uh, Blackler went out the door because of the bloody board uh, for 16 and, a, 16 and a half million basically uh, to Arsenal and so we needed to bring some players in so I brought in Felipe Joaquim uh, the central defensive midfielder from uh, Palermo, and I bought in Julio Cesar Serapio from Mallorca. He's 21 years of age, nine and a bit million pounds, not bad. Uh, and he played one game in the last game, and he was sensational. So uh, he's a good buy, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sniff. Um, now, what are we going to do? We we have Fall. Fall is back. Uh, great. So that means we'll put him in here. We'll play Wilbur, Wilmot and Alberto up top. And yeah, it looks like that's the way that we're going to play this game. Um, let's do things. Uh, hopefully West Brom shouldn't be too much of an issue. But that said, we've already lost 2-0 to one of the worst teams possibly ever in the Premier League. Um, are they play Did I see they were playing um, young Mr. What's his name? The mash has turned on the uh, dishwasher. So that's what the gurgling sound is in the background. It's not my stomach. Uh, let's have a look. Oh no, where was it? Are they playing him? They must be playing him. It must be one of these two. For uh, where are they? So they're playing Logan there, Rivera, Postrick, and yeah, playing Barisic at right back. He's too slow, if in my opinion, for a right back. He was better as a centre back. Um, but whatever, they do what they want with him. They they bought him for an extortionate amount of money. Alberto, good finish and good touch, but unfortunately he was offside. Um, I have just realised that I have a phone call to make in about... Oh, come on! I have a phone call to make in about 40 minutes, so we should be able to get through this, um, but whatever. Let's... Uh, before then, but let's let's carry on anyway. Let's not waste any time. Thank you, Joaquim, for getting booked within about two minutes of one of your league, your second league game and then missing a header, which led to a West Bromwich Albion goal. Uh, the baggies are bouncing, but we are not. Uh, that was a probably offside. Yes, it was. Only missed anyway. God damn it. Um, I nearly signed. So there's a, there's, a, there's a South African striker who I've got my eyes on, uh, who also Manchester United like the look of. Um, they negotiated me a uh, a fee of twenty five million pounds, which I said uh, you knew to, uh, because he's only worth about. I mean, he's worth about nine million uh, in terms of his actual in game uh, value at the moment. Uh, the problem is that yeah, the game never just sort of lets you pay what he's worth, <laughs> or even a reasonable amount above that. Um, I've seen. I actually, it's quite interesting. I saw, I saw quite a lot of people complain about how the game does that because i mean it is completely legitimate that the club the, the ai clubs are like well i've got a season to play even if they don't actually have the season loaded you know they still got that the ai still has to assume that it's trying to trying to win its league or you know do whatever meet its uh, expectations for the season and if he's an, if he's an indispensable player who's by far their best player they're not going to sell him for 10 million they're going to want lots of money for him 
so it makes sense but they asked for 25 million pounds which is too much I, w I would have settled at about 15 but they refused so I instead went and bought this centre back and the striker a, a one step up striker will be the uh, the main the, the, the highest priority good finish from Alberto there we've got back to level pegging after an unfortunate start to the game uh, yeah, so the good, a really good striker is, is top of my list for this summer and possibly a new right mid because Shehu is fine and Fall is fine, but Fall is old and Shehu is starting to edge towards 30. Um, so we need a right back, really, a right midfielder, really. Um, and maybe, no, I think otherwise we're largely fine. Uh, the issue that we've had this season has been entirely wing play related and the board, oh for Christ's sake, of course, his first ever goal as well, yeah, good one, uh, and related of course to the board uh, selling our best player, hopefully they don't do that again. They refuse to build this new stadium which is upsetting. Wow, Ipswich, are, they're on a fine run of form, obviously Charlton's uh, win against Swindon didn't kickstart their season quite but they are both now above Norwich is that right yeah bloody hell Norwich are, I mean Norwich are real poor if <laughs> if um, if they're below those other two clubs dear me Alberto now Shehu puts it back to Alberto Alberto with a terrible finish not really sure how we, one could have hit that like that a proper shank okay Wilmot out to Bordeaux I should have maybe played Ortega I don't think that's what's causing us to be so far oh I don't think that's what's causing us to be so far uh, so poor in this game, but it's probably not unrelated. What's happening here? What's Jair doing? I'm gonna ring the bloody changes, mate. Thirty five minutes gone, I'm making all three substitutions. Yeah, what? Come at me. I'll fight you. I don't wanna, I'll fight everyone. Triple substitution on 35 minutes, and then immediately we get a highlight. That must be a good thing. Gillich, back to Johansson. Johansson to Perez. Serapio, good name. Johansson. Spins around a little bit, gives it to Alberto. Lovely stuff. Alberto now. Oh, he has an effort. Straight at the goalkeeper. But Novotny, back to Ortega. Ortega. Ortega to Novotny. Novotny to Gillich. Hits it over the bar. That's a shame. Well, we didn't take the opportunity to strike back immediately, and I feel that that means we're probably going to now lose this game. Uh, the best I think we're likely to hope for is a draw, unless they score here, in which case, no. <laughs> uh, but they're not good. Like This team is not a good team, this West Brom team. So we should... Oh. I mean, we're, we're not dominating them exactly, but we are doing... We we're having chances, and the chances we're having are good quality chances. Are not fall crosses. Serapio at the back post heads over. West Brom with that win go all the way up to twelfth. That's upsetting. If if we can turn this around, we can jump back to fourth. Um, uh, we're away from home though, so I don't want to be too harsh with them because it, I. I I mean, Sam seems to be able to just say, Oi, you lot, fuck off. And they get better every game. Even if they're winning 4 0, he tells them their shit and they react well. But I'm not that kind of manager. Fall, crosses. Oh, rubbish. Laveau, he gets fouled by Yannick Evra. Who's going to get a yellow from Tom Turner? Lloyd Wilmot to Serapio. Wilmot! Oh, it hits the crossbar. With a diving header? Or is that the guy in front of him? Right, yeah. Well, it can't have been a diving header from there with that much power. <laughs> uh, Novotny, Alberto, Joaquim. Jo Joaquim? Like, I need to know how to say that. Because my... Oh, for goodness sake. My initial reaction would be Joaquim. But... Or jo 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 Joaquim, maybe? I've just realised I can't make any changes. I want to. <laughs> Ah, silly. Silly. Shouldn't have made all three. Maybe just one change. Because clearly... Well, I, th I think we've clearly made ourselves more solid. As the... Uh, bloody hell. It's a thirsty old machine. Oh! Idiot Gillich. 
you wonder what they're doing really like i mean i they make football look really hard <laughs> i've Why are we getting battered by West Brom? I don't believe they've only had five shots. They've all been on target. We've only had one save. <laughs> Thought that was going to be another one. Christ alive. Come on, get another goal, please. Pull one back. At, if, if, at least if we lose 4-3 now, for example, at least we can, you know, we didn't lose by fucking three against West Bromwich Albion. Why do we not score so at all from uh, corners? Like, the my Western side used to score from corners all the time. Justice and Bailey got like nearly 50 career league goals or something ridiculous. Maybe, maybe it wasn't quite that many, but we seem to score a lot more and my Schlons team did, but then, you know, we had the, by far the best squad in the, in the league. So it didn't really matter um, where we were scoring our goals from, but it just seems a little odd. Like odd. We don't seem, seem to score at all from corners. Um, well, that was, this is a fucking disappointment. Oh, you bloody... Pl well, I mean, this has been a masterclass in bad defending. And it's not like it's Serapio that's the uh, the player who's been poor. Like, it was... Oh, great, Paul. Finish that off, Sam. Yes, please. 4-2. Um, yeah, it's not like it's Serapio that's been poor. It was uh, it was Thingy and uh, Jair and now Perez. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that which is nothing other than hope that this goal that we've just scored prompts us into an unlikely comeback oh my god do we win nothing in the air what is wrong with you people dogar great double save two clicks in in, in from me in assumption that we were going to concede but we didn't um vermilion Stevich, good save from Johansson. Come on. We can get a third. Oh, no, we can't. They're going to get a fifth. I bet you. Okay. Who was the fella that got, like, he scored two beautiful headers? Who scored that one? It was Kane Clark. I think it was he scored twice. Perez now. Gillich. Novotny. Joaquim. Perez. Serapio. Joaquim. I'm going to have to give him a nickname because I can't say his name properly. It's going to be inconsistent and I don't like that. Laveau. Serapio. Laveau. Oh, for God's sake. Well, 4-2. What a bloody... Oh, no. The confidence is gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, this fella here. The best game of his life. He's rubbish. He's only scored four goals all season. Came through, came through at Western, of course. He's a he's a he's a quality prospect. <laughs> rubbish, rubbish player. Yeah, we were poor. Um, we were poor. <sighs> Tommy Johansson. Well, we weren't as bad as we definitely weren't as bad as. I am not going to talk about that. I uh, don't really want to. Kane was... Well, he was good, surprisingly. Um, Alberto was also good. Kane was fine. I mean, he wasn't that good. Uh, anyway, look, we need to quickly go into the team here and find Felipe. What Does he have a middle name? Does he have a fun middle name? No. He speaks French, which is fun. Ambitious, fairly ambitious Felipe. I like it. <laughs> Hang on. Fairly ambitious Felipe, he plays for Swindon Town. He's fairly fallacious, fallacious. He he does a lot of fellating. Uh, Norwich have got an, a ridiculous manager, by the way. They've got this guy Casado, who who's got 121 Brazil caps, 
and was a legend at Real Madrid. I'm pretty sure he is actually a legend at the club. Oh my God, it's going to be impossible to tell, but he, he must be in there somewhere because he played for them for ages. No. Okay, well, maybe he's not a legend, but he was play, He played for the club for something like 12, 15 years. Um, and he, for some reason he's manager of Norwich. You don't really understand. You'd have thought he could have got a job somewhere else. <laughs> it's a bit better. Estimated value of Real Madrid is uh, for 1.4 billion. That's pretty cheeky. Cheeky billion, a cheeky bill. Now then, so we've got to put the, the uh, disappointment of that ridiculous leg a game behind us as we then take on Montpellier. Uh, the first game is at home, which is nice. I guess we get the opportunity to um, to get the opportunity to kick things off with a strong home win. I've just seen that the league in Belarus has reset at an interesting time of the year. So we can see who came up. Um, now, the thing is, I'm not going to remember. So Lida and Ospivoci, did are they still in the league? No, so, so so there are new teams in here. Neman Mosti, I think they're new. Oh, no, Skvich. <laughs> Skvich. And DSK, I think they're the other new ones. They might not be. It doesn't matter. But uh, just keeping my eye over there. Anything interesting? Anyone interesting comes up? Otherwise, it's going to be squitch. <laughs> squitch. Anyway, look, that's, that's enough of the squitching. I've already... Ooh. Uh, that really did tickle me, though. Oh, I need to change my... Uh, I need to change my... What would you call it? Uh, alarm, because I've just been drafted in to do early shifts tomorrow. Uh, let's call it four o'clock. Four o'clock? Four o'clock. So I've got to wake up at four o'clock tomorrow morning. That'll be five o'clock for you, beautiful people. And also because of the fact that you'll never be able to get through all these videos that I've uploaded today. Um, before then, <laughs> it doesn't really matter to you. Um, oh, wait. What did I just start training on? Position. Oh, yeah. Well, fair enough. Um, Ortega would do better if he did that. Yeah, maybe he would do. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I disagree, but fine. Nope. Um back to the list here Swindon gripped by Euro Cup fever um, 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 um. so th sell out but over 24,000 tickets have been sold so there's a thousand tickets weren't sold so Swindon wasn't isn't gripped <laughs> it's not grippered as much as you think it was um, let's just see where we were expected to get to so we were we were expected to get to the group stage. They're delighted that we've got. So delighted means good. Cool. Uh, League Cup was we reached the fourth round. We got to the semi final. That was good. Well, fucking, what do you want from me, board? Uh, can Charlton steal another win this season? Nope. <laughs> Just absolute crap. Oh, and Ipswich have dropped back to the bottom of the league. The fact that they're in touching distance is. Like these clubs should be ashamed of themselves. Not Norwich in particular, because Charlton and Ipswich were so poor for such a big ch uh, chunk of the season so far. Charlton have drawn thirteen games. Charlton have drawn half of their games. I mean, get a life. You've, they've still only scored twelve goals. That's pathetic. Swindon have scored forty nine goals. That's not bad. Long gone from the days when we used to be top scorers for the uh, division. But, yeah. Uh, what are we looking at here? Bozic from Ajax. He looks fine. Nothing special. Anyway, the big one. We welcome Montpellier Hero. Montpellier Hero. To... That was probably not needed. Uh, to the county ground. Oh, we've got a play. Okay, so... <laughs> well, the team is a little, uh, it's been decimated, let's say that. Uh, we've only got one goalkeeper, but at least we do have one. Riedel will come back in. <laughs> uh, we'll put Ortega out on the right back. We'll put Musa Fall there. Branf we are going to have to bring in Branfilov and Beckham. And then we've got two spots who we can fit in those two spots. Any one of, the, any one of these players any good? No, they're all shit. Cortez Atkinson from Bromsgrove. Well, good. 
Yes, I've only picked five subs. Well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Ch the striker's called Chumbinho. Where, where is it? Chumbinho. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> he's half French. And his name is Chumbinho. And his real name is actually Elton John de Souza Ribeiro. Well, Chumbinho is a fucking fantastic name. That is... Oh. Yes. Give me more... There need to be more Chumbinos in the world and less of all the people that aren't Chumbinho. Riedel has eight goals this season. I just saw there, which is a, a lot of goals for him, considering it Chapero, Barbier. So I've got Barbier... Barbier and Chumbinho. I don't want to win. I want them to go through. <laughs> I want them to win everything. <laughs> do I have to change all of my players? Do I have to change Roy's name to Chumbinho? Because it's fairly ambitious, Felipe. First sighting of that. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, this has been a long season, this one has. We started playing Europa League games way back when. Bejarano, fairly ambitious Felipe, nice work. Uh, Roy, he's, oh, he's tying him in knots and he's scored a sensational goal. Eight minutes in, magical stuff from Roy. He's very he's very rapidly becoming a new Roy the boy. Except that his second name's stupid and I'm not going to say it. But uh, Roy, well done Roy, we're 1-0 up. Musa four crosses, Riedel scores. We mentioned it pre-game. He marks his return to the team with a header, his ninth goal of the season. Swindon are two 0 up against Mursk. Mursk, Montpellier. Oh, lovely, lovely stuff. Swindon Town. We can do it in Europe, especially when we've got a goalkeeper. The difference it makes. Okay. Bajarno. Chambinio beating in the air by Riedel. Great ball through to Alberto. Alberto scores. Chambinio made me laugh again. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> oh, Chambinio. <laughs> oh, we're 3-0 up after 15 minutes. Um, we've obviously been saving up this performance for a while. Um, Chambinio again. Oh, oh my... <laughs> Ooh, Chambinio, eh? Dear me. Oh, Jair's been injured. He's been injured by Chambinio. Didn't think it was possible. Chambinio's becoming the heel. Oh. Perez can come on, though. Luckily, we have a good backup player. Roy, taken out by Capini. Um, who have we got taking this free kick? Fall, good. I think we've been missing him. Since he was away. Riedel at the back post. Great save from Bejarano. Point blank save as well. Very nice. Four crossed. Not a headed goal though. Novotny. Hernandez. Hervas. Borgo. Big ball up. But we're surely offside if we get on that. Okay. Uh, Alright then. Boy. And he's fouled. Lavayol. Chambinio. He's lurking up front. No, I'm, just, I'm not even sure what it, image it's creating in my head, but it's creating a funny image in my head. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Chumbinio. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> it's almost as fun as... What was it? <laughs> uh, Chuckly Scritch. <laughs> anyway, Alberto. Big ball across. Doesn't get there. Barbier. Todorov. Pidoni. They play some decent football, but... Lovely, fairly ambitious Felipe. Good effort from us again there. The uh, bloody hell. Sounds like it's opening a... Opening a... <laughs> opening a Chambino fouls again. Opening a uh, portal to hell via the sea. Perez over to Gillich. Gillich. Was that a shot? He said it bent from long range, but I think it just went directly there and then out. Uh, Borgo. Rubbish. Oh, tired, sorry. Uh, Borgo crosses. We've Paolo Ortega fouled again. We're desperate to score some more. Uh, did I say Dun Did I see that Dundee United are also playing? They're beating Leverkusen. Rennie. Is that Greg Rennie? Is that a guy called Greg Rennie? 
Oh, oh whoops. Okay, well, I'll try and tip in the next time. Um, please, with how things are going, keep it up. Passionate, that's a lot more to come from you. Keep going, score some more goals, please. I don't want to have to go to France and be worried. want to enjoy my day out in Marseille, um, Montpellier. Alex Rennie. Two, pa two caps for Scotland. The land of the Scots. Jakadze, Nesic, Todorov. I know where it's going to, and it's and it didn't get there in the end. <laughs> just the just the thought of it going. I'm not going to say the name. We all know what I'm thinking. We all, me and Sam, uh, Barbie, Todorov. Oh my goodness me! We left Chub. We left. Oh. Riedel really jumped out of defence there and left Chambino on his own, and we know that Chambino is a dangerous player. <laughs> just, I mean, it sounds like a child sort of cartoon bear. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like it's the idea is coalescing within my brain now. It has the feel of a cartoon bear. Chumbinho. Anyway, Capini's coming off. Ortega. Roy gets there. Fall. Gillich. Oh, sorry for yawning. Although I'm not sorry. Not that sorry. Fairly ambitious Felipe. Gillich. Fall. Roy. Roy. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why the keeper wasn't allowed to just go pick that up, but fine. Ortega to fall again. Fall's gone past his man. Well, Pedoni apparently did that, but it looked a lot like our player just headed it out. Uh, Borgo up to Roy. Roy was fouled on the edge of the box. Laviol, that's been one or two he's had already, so maybe we can see a yellow card. Thank you. Uh, first game in a while that one of our players has not been booked. <laughs> Roy, ah, oh, balls over the bar. And I say the booking thing, I mean, yet. I'm sure someone will get booked. Alberto, slip him in. Yes, Novotny. Good effort. Great save. We've still got the ball, though. Perez. Felipe. Gillich to Roy. Roy, oh, could have slipped it through to fall. Fall. No, Gillich. No, it's going to be an offside. Yes, it is. It's an offside. Yes, it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to bring on uh, Pelletier. I'm fairly ambitious. Felipe is having a good game. And I'm going to take on Novotny for Chavaria, who's actually really good. I don't know why he doesn't... I, I don't know why I keep forgetting to put him in. He doesn't play quite as well as he possibly should do, considering his stats. But uh, he's he's actually very statistically good. Uh, Alberto, tackled by Marchal, gives the ball up to... Oh, dear. Perez is going to get sent off. You just know it, even though there wasn't a clear goal-scoring opportunity. But he's going, because this is the old last man rule. Oh, okay. I'll allow it. I'll take it. And I knew we'd get a booking, I told you. Straight over from Todorov. On what what S Todorov actually stands for. Oh, Costas Perez heads over. That was a good bit of yawn commentary there. No, oh, come on! We had a great start to the game. Let's have a let's have a goal at the end to send the fans home happy. Ortega to fall. Fall goes around the outside. No, he doesn't. He goes back to Ortega, who now tries but doesn't. In fact, has to go back again. No, he doesn't. He works the ball through to Alberto. Fall up to Roy. Roy's round his man. He must. Oh, they're just not clinical enough. These strikers we have. They get presented with quite a lot of opportunities. I think. This is not like when Wilmot first came and we didn't make very many opportunities and he still managed to score a shitload. What on earth was that? <laughs> that was poor. They don't deserve to be in the competition anymore because of that. And we're going to oblige them. Ortega to Roy. Roy to Gillich. Gillich absolutely smashes a, go a shot into the town end, which I imagine looks a bit fancier now than it used to. Uh, fall crosses Perez. Oh... We need a Justice and Bele and a Mads Pedersen, and then we've got a team that's to be reckoned with, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, first-class performance, I completely agree. First half, particularly, was sensational, or even the first 15 minutes was very, very good. Um, Lokomotiv Moscow's Bruno is the uh, top scorer in the competition this year. I don't know quite how. He must have... Is he? Is, do you reckon he's taken on Russian citizenship? He hasn't, but he does speak Russian. Um, okay, good. Well... That's the end of that quite successful video. Um, we did we win the first game? I think no. We no. We oh no, not that well. Okay, so it was a video of two halves, and uh, we got smashed by West Brom and then beat Montpellier. Uh, the next game will be um, 
Man City, where we will probably also lose, and then uh, Montpellier again, where we might win. And hopefully we'll go through to the next round, which is, if we look, second round is us or Montpellier against either Groningen or Cardiff. So I think Cardiff have the opportunity there. They could probably get through if they were lucky. Four to five days out with for Chumbinio, that idiot. Oh, Chumbinio. So poor. If if he was uh, younger, I would probably I'd be interested in him. Little little Chumbinio, I'd I'd take him on. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I'll see you uh, not very long. Not very. I'll see you soon. Bye.